Do I feel like I'm the who's that guy? I'm the goddamn dean with these damn glasses on. I'm the goddamn dean. <laughs> yeah, he wore sunglasses. No, you cannot. But uh, let's go on to the next piece of mail. Kalienmo, Kalienmo, uh, you got your shit handled. Good. Eyes asking me, uh, ever heard of this person? Original white folks? Yes, I have. I've seen some of his videos many years ago. Uh, he says, uh, original white folks, you you guys speak the same message. Also, I've been listening a lot to a lot more of your podcast, and even sometimes taking them to work with me. It really motivates me, especially the ones about fear and approaching. Thanks, player. Keep the game on lock. Uh, you must have my past shows episodes. And I just redid that also. Uh, now, well, actually, I'm in the process of redoing, I should say. So don't order that product yet. I'm having trouble getting the files up on my blog. I, I just had them, I've broken them down, and I've broken them down, and i got to break them down again. These files are so fucking huge. You know, the, the first time I tried to get up, you know, 900 megabyte files. Now I'm have the I broke down to five hundred piece. Now I'm gonna have to break that one. And this is just volume one, not one A. Volume one down into even smaller, and then I can do the same for volume two. So I've got all of the threes up. Volume three, you know it's it's gonna be a lot of downloads, but it's four gigs. It's four gig four point five or four point one five gigs of my best podcast shows. So it's well worth the investment. So good for you for getting that if you did. Your advice is the truth. Thank you. Hello, player. I'm an Asian. I'm sorry. I'm seeing words that aren't there. Born in an Asian family. My dad, for some reason, never taught me anything about the game. Probably because he doesn't know the game. In addition to some events that happened within all of my high school years, Comma. See, he has good grammar. Ooh. Like you have mentioned in your last video, comma, I had vibrated to a lower level on my self-esteem and missed a lot of potential opportunities. Period. Thank you. See, I can read that better. <laughs> Nonetheless, I am over it now, and your message of the game being in you really is true. One of the easiest ways in developing the game, like you mentioned, is knowing how to ask the right questions to stimulate conversations. I'm primarily focusing on this now because I will need this technique when I work as a database developer and actually listen to what they tell you. Ah, okay. You guys know that I'm from the old school of uh, programming when it first came out? I was studying computer programming. COBOL, RPG, that's how old the languages are. BASIC, FORTRAN, that's how far I go back. You gotta go back to the early, to the 80s when uh, computers first, before PCs were even around. I was programming on the big mainframes. The t I'm actually from the card deck era, those of you guys who are programmers. Uh, I've seen guys, students, uh, we had to run our, our decks through this uh, Teal data center. They had a big machine there. And they would uh, give us some time out to run our programs through. They would send programs that fucked up the system back with a nail through it. <laughs> so you don't ever use that program again. There were people, I never had one to do that. But there were people who got nails through their programs. Anyway, that's my days of my nerddom. And if you're a computer programmer, yes, you are a nerd. Sorry. I've been in that field. I, I know what's there. That's what gra why you gravitated there. There are people that, that one guy said he likes those bit li dot lie links because they said they're beautiful. How's a link beautiful? A woman's beautiful. These are just fucking links. Anyway, let me get back to one point and actually listen to what they tell you. I've learned from you that hoe chasing really doesn't work because you end up scaring the girl away into thinking you're a creeper. Believe me, I intentionally did it when I knew I didn't get her number. 
despite that she told me she didn't have a cell and didn't play it cool. Damn. You actually, okay, you must be from that make the whole say no thing. Ah, wow. Like you've mentioned, the game isn't for everyone, and I acknowledge your wisdom because subconsciously can't do it since it goes against my moral. On the other hand, with your information, I am developing a wide sense of knowledge based on the type of girls out there and have had a much easier time conversing with women my age and even and even give me their number on a 15 minute bus ride. Thank you, player. You're like the dad that everyone should have and I will apply as much of your knowledge as possible in my life. P.S. Typing little I and big I does make the person feel more confident when they are sending a message on what they have to say. I'm glad you learned that one too because you didn't use one. I don't see one little I in there. All right, we're at six minutes, so I only got a couple of pieces left, fellas. Your shirt must cover your torso. Yeah, uh, I already answered this one. Uh, we was talking about, um, you know, leaving having the shirt open uh, versus buttoned all the way up. And Tariq says, you know, buttoned all the way up, but I say uh, you could open it up to two buttons. Lower than that, that's you got if if you got a hairy chest, that's unattractive though. So. Um, I don't know if Tariq has a hairy chest or not, but I don't have any chest hair. So I also have very large pecs, so I would button mine, take mine down to two. It's almost like showing, it's like the female version of showing some fucking cleavage. But um, I never had a problem with that. In fact, I had, you know, women you know, stare at, at the uh, man, man chest there. I don't know, Jovina, what do you think of that stuff? You know, guys, that down too far is, is tacky. Seventies, yeah, is... yeah, but like a button or two. A couple of buttons. Yeah, yeah. All right. Got a video. Hey, player supreme, check me out. Let me know what you think. Confidence with women is a must. The womanizerblog.com. All right, I'll hook look you up. Uh, the father pariah. Or Pharaoh, sorry. Okay, bitch talking. Yo, player, when you talk about giving women good conversation, does that mean getting in to bitch talk with her? No. Like, if the woman gets on your team, well, if she's on your team, you ain't got to talk to her anymore. <laughs> you got the pussy. Right, Jovina? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Uh, she, okay, is on your team. If she's on your team, gets on your team, and she hates another person, and she wants you to start talking shit about that person with her, is, is it okay for players to talk shit about women enemies, or is it a bitch thing to do? Well, now that you got the pussy, why bother? But yeah, if she's on your team, and she has an enemy, uh, she wants you to be on her side, basically. And when Jovina comes home and talks about, you know, people at work, I, lis I listen. I do listen. I listen about every other word she says. Mm -hmm. In one ear, out the other ear, but I do make the attempt to listen. How creepy is this? What's up, Supreme? This is so creepy, you have to check it out. Okay, since this show is almost over, this is my last piece of mail. Uh, go look at the video for a minute. The Creep, featuring featuring Nicki Minaj, John Waters. Okay, they got some nerds in there. Glasses, the brain thing. <laughs> okay, you guys gotta check this video out. It's called The Creep. <laughs> there are people out there that do dress like this, by the way. Nerds. Look, normally these people are sheltered. 
that's really funny. Thanks, uh, man, let us, I'll watch the rest of that in a minute. But there are people out there who are like that, in different, in different variations of it. They don't realize how they come across. They live sheltered lives. Uh, mommy raised them. They may have had a father in the picture, but they're you know very intelligent computer programmer or engineer types. And I see them in, in Toastmasters. If you guys are in Toastmasters, you're going to see these type of people there. So they just don't, it doesn't connect. That's why the roboticness of the pickup artist game appeals to them. These are the same people in this video that they will put on a, mo a mohawk on their heads and run up on women thinking that will work. It just doesn't click in their head because they, no, they have no connection to normal society, normal people out there. They don't, they don't, they don't associate with them. They don't vibe on the same level with them. You know, their brains are way up here. Normal people are way down here. So, you know, you got a brain that's way up here. He doesn't know how to communicate and get along with people down here. So he, he thinks that putting a fucking mohawk on his head, you know, is going to work. And I see that with a lot of the Asian players who are very intelligent. You know, they don't want to connect to normal people. So if you're an Asian player and you, you got that same brain juice going on, you know, you most in my days, you know, most Asians were nerds. Nowadays, uh, we got the cool Asian types. We got the thug Asian. We got the bad boy Asians, you know, all different types. But when I was growing up, you know, most of the Asians were nerds. And I look in this community, I see those same kind of nerds <clears throat> in this community. All, same with uh, uh, Southeast, is it South, Southwest Asia or East Indian uh, guys. They tend to be on the nerdy side. They don't click up here, you know, what normal is about. But I do see some that are nowadays that are normal, that communicate on normal band level, that uh, understand you know, how to dress and all that kind of stuff, how to look. I feel sorry for the really intelligent people that nobody can connect with. Uh, the people that have no social skills at all. But social skills can be learned. If you're on the smarter side, that's probably an area that you're weak in is your social skills. People who played sports, they got that socializing. People that, that participated in uh, activities in school, they got that socializing. You know, being in the chess club, I don't know. Being in the computer club, you're around other geeks. you got to socialize with the normals out there. And suddenly run up in their faces asking who lies more, David Bowie or Michael Jackson, isn't the way to socialize yourself, okay? Peace, fellas.